back uh, yet another week and yet another video I don't really want to make, um, but uh, I have to make it, I said I'd make a, a video describing and, and like giving my opinions on every single Southampton game this season. Uh, yeah, as everyone knows, Southampton lost this game 2-0, and um, whilst I don't want to spend too much time on this, because uh, it was sort of a pretty drab game to watch, uh, in the grand scheme of things anyway, um, especially for a Saints supporter, I, I need to give my opinion because there's a lot of things that I, I picked up on the game that I need to say. If there's any positives that can come from this game, they are few and far between. Uh, like, I'm not going to even try and complain uh, about things. Arsenal deserve to win the match, they played better, and um, that's the way it's going to be. Um, uh, I will say that the referee had a had a decent enough game but there were quite a few things that he got wrong uh, not just in Southampton's favour as well there were, there were a couple of things uh, like Southampton getting uh, Southampton got a corner when it uh, clearly came off of Vestergaard but in the same uh, grand scheme of things there were loads of challenges that were literally shoulder on shoulder and the referee the referees giving free kicks away to Arsenal um, so uh, I wasn't too fond of the referee this game he didn't really have much to do but the decisions that he made quite a few of them on both teams sides were a bit dodgy uh, but that's not me trying to excuse the fact that we lost the game because we, yeah, we deserve to lose. Um, but the manner in which we lost is horrible to me um, because, well, we we started the game looking fantastic and on the front foot, even I'll I'll go on to say, and and the the, the manner of their first goal, where Nathan Redmond should have scored, pretty much uh, like in the same mood if you like Nathan uh, doesn't score and then Arsenal go up the other end and immediately score um, but the, the ball through to, to, to Redmond was fantastic he seemed to slow down to get touch of the ball but if he'd kept going with speed he'd been able to get it and uh, in one thing you, you want him to cut inside uh, to take the defender out of the game but just take a shot on your strong foot on your right foot try and catch Leno out um, but unfortunately he didn't do that Leno's decision making has sometimes been a bit off. So I was hoping that if we got a shot away early, Leno wouldn't be quite positionally accurate and we could have got an early goal away. But in the grand scheme of things, that didn't happen. Well, not in the grand scheme of things. That just didn't happen. And they got up the other end and scored a very crap goal. Defensively, we didn't look very good today, at least to begin with in the game. And uh, I don't really know how to explain their first goal. It was just a really ridiculous uh, situation. They always seem to be able to play really quick passes around us and then the ball comes in, smashed across. Bednarek, for how much I love Bednarek, playing him on side and he kind of drifted beyond, beyond the line and it wasn't it wasn't good play by him um, playing uh, Lacazette on side and you can't stop a, a, ricochet, a ricocheted shot. Um, but the second goal um, is... Well, after that goal, we actually came again and, and still kept pressing for the ball because we started well. And, and it's a shame to see us play some good football, actually attack some good attacking football, but not getting anything out of it, not being able to get the final shot away. And uh, yeah, then their second goal happened. I don't even know what Stevens is thinking. He's definitely been our weakest defender at the moment, making a lot of mistakes. And um, whilst I think Gunn actually had a good game, this was... As, uh, not as much Gunn's fault as Steven's fault, but it's definitely Gunn is at fault for this goal because he could have just smashed it up the pitch. Instead, he tried to play it out to our players, come straight out to them, and then they can attack and score. Um, so it, it was a bit ridiculous to give away a goal like that. Afterwards, though, the, the game kind of settled itself. Half time, like nothing really happened in the half except uh, Lacazette should have scored. Like he scored, he missed from five yards out after a brilliant piece of play by Kalasanac. Um, and I thought, crap, well, we're, we're just going to get thrashed this game. Our goal difference actually hasn't been too bad this season. I'm really kind of thankful that it's still not bad. Like, it's still not incredibly low. But it's another two goals that, we, uh, that we've that we added or taken away from our, our goal difference. Um, but half-time, we, we decided to switch up the system. We've got to go all for it because we're 2-0 down. Uh, there's we have to play an, a new game to be able to get around Arsenal. We brought on Austin and Obafemi, and things look fantastic. For for some reason, we seem to be defending better with four at the back than five, and I don't know why that is. I don't know if Target and um, and Valerie weren't pushing back enough when they were on the wing back positions, but for some reason we were defending better like that, and uh, I I thought we actually looked really good. Um, Valerie looked brilliant on the right-hand side. He's probably my highlight of the game was that Valerie 
actually had an alright match, considering he was up against... Um, is it Kolasinac? I think it's Kolasinac, who, who's been fantastic this season. I think he had a decent game and looked very good on the attack in the first half. He did a fantastic dribble around two players. Um, but um, defensively, maybe he was a bit weaker. Um, and there were a couple of key passes in the, in the final third that he didn't, he didn't pull off. But I think he had a good game. Um, Romeu actually had a good game and Hoybier okay. But everyone else seemed to be lacking a little bit. Like I say, Bednarek was at fault for their first goal, but I think he came back into it. Vestergaard looked okay, but again, we were just kind of quiet for the grand scheme of the game. There isn't much I can talk about our team. Uh, we brought on Obafemi to use his, his pace, and he looked quite useful, but then suddenly he, he gets injured again. Um, he's been out with this hamstring injury for a while now, and I guess we just tried to put him in too early because we don't have any strikers. When you've got Obafemi and Ings, two strikers who played the exact same game that can be used as a big impact player because they're so fast and and pressuring and then they're both out we don't know when um, Ings is coming back uh, it's kind of scary for us because now we're lacking another striker and uh, things are looking dangerous um, like we started with Redmond and Armstrong up front and they're kind of wide players and I, I guess Redmond less so this season he's been sitting in the middle and just letting people play around him and that's nice but playing him as our main striker is not a very good option because we've got good We've got a good crosser on the ball, target, and he's trying to pick out one of the smallest people on the pitch. Um, it just doesn't work. Uh, and, yeah, the second half was good. I th uh, well, it was better. It wasn't good. Um, but that's just another loss, and now we've got... We have to get something... Uh, we have to get three points against Fulham next week. And knowing Southampton... I mean, we played Fulham last time. We all went ahead twice or were we 2 nil up and we ended up losing um so i'm very worried about that game but we'll see what happens when, uh, when, when we play against fulham but i'm i'm concerned because of all our injuries and and we're still in the relegation zone things aren't, aren't looking bright for us so we'll, we'll just see but um my opinions of this game were pretty poor um especially in the first half second half could have done better um but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens um, in the next couple of games. Who have we got? Uh, I don't know, um, but I know they're difficult. <laughs> we've got Fulham, and then I think we've got uh, like Liverpool and, and stuff. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. I'm just worried now, and I think I'd have a reason to be anyway. Yeah, yeah we've, we've got 24 points. Cardiff lost as well. I guess that's the the major uh, consolidation from this game is that Cardiff lost. They're still a point ahead of us though, but their goal difference is very very poor we're currently nine goals ahead of them on goal difference so if we can make up that gap uh, like get a point or three against fulham uh, that and they draw or lose their next game then we can get back up to that uh, just above um, cardiff and try and work on goal difference and just get a couple more points maybe push brighton down uh, never know what's going to happen but uh, yeah those are my opinions on the game let me know what you thought um, just as a quick heads up I'm, I'm not blaming the key, uh, the referee for this game we deserve to lose it but the referee did make some bad decisions on both teams parts uh, in case anyone got confused about that one uh, but I'll see you guys next week where we take on Fulham until then have a good, good day and take care